Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Wednesday, the 17th of June. These are the charts of the day. Well, I'm going to highlight some shorts today because this market acts to me like it's vulnerable, like it's dying to roll over. Underlying technicals were not good today, despite some good looking charts and some intraday trades. But you'll notice a lot of stocks that we had today were popping in the morning or pre market and then rolled over as soon as the market opened or within an hour. And so, for me, I want to just take a look at some shorts. We haven't discussed them since Monday. Let's take a look at Arvin Industries, which is a tech trader swing. And although it was even up seven cents today, it made a new low today at 29.28. That's already down about six points from the point I gave it to you. And I'm still looking for low 20s, 22 and a half is my target down there. Up next is EHTH, which I have neglected to put a short on today, but I'm thinking. This stock has some downside potential. If it breaks 100, I'm looking for 85. Simple as that. Flare. Um, after breaking down and bouncing, getting it right up to resistance here, it backed off today by $1.54. My thinking is, it take it take it you know it comes down to about 38.9. Test that level, and it breaks it. it comes down into the oh I'll call it 33 my target. G H. Um, after bouncing for a couple days, it pulled back today by 276. It may be vulnerable to a much deeper slot, particularly if it takes out uh, the 71 and a half range. Then I'm looking for something in the 60, high 50s to low 60s. HAE with a head and shoulder top and a breakdown, trying to snap back for a couple days. Resume this decline today down 234. I'm now looking for 78. 10 points. NVCR in a big bear flag, as far as I'm concerned. And a breakdown below this level, below 60, 61. And I think the stock is headed to 53.4. And XTC continues weak, barely able to bounce, lousy technicals. And I'm looking for 21 and then maybe mid teens after that. OYST is an interesting chart. Um, the chart looks like a big consolidation phase, or is it a topping pattern? Underlying technicals after this smackdown here haven't improved that much. And it might collapse today. It had an engulfing reversal bar, engulfing uh, yesterday's trading. And it looks to me like it may come down to try a test of the 27 range. And should it crack that? Katie Barth, the door, we're looking at um, perhaps even low to mid 20s. RCL, um, my thoughts are that these are too extended not to come down further. And I'm looking for a test of the trend line, quite frankly, and lateral price support that comes in around high 40s. If we, if we get that, then we may cover for a quick. Six to eight points, maybe ten points, depending on how far down it goes. We'll see. Today it gapped down and left a bit of a, like a little bit of an island, and it was down on the day 4:45 or seven percent. I'm looking for lower levels, 47, uh, 50, 47, something like that. S A G E, not quite bearish, and something to watch. I'm just thinking this overall pattern, if it cracks, and only if it cracks, would be looking for a retest of the lows around 25. And then finally, TCMD, which broke down and snapped back, has been unable to crack 44. That's a quick stop there. But if it rolls over, we can see 35. We may even see 30. That's a quick look at a few shorts for tonight. That's all I want to do at this point, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.